Foreign Relations Committee will come to order. Today we will once again shine a light on the global fight to end modern slavery. This could be my last legislative hearing as chairman, and of all the work that we've done together on this committee, the fight against modern slavery stands out. I am proud that Senator Menendez and I worked to pass legislation with the entire committee, establishing the Global Fund to End Modern Slavery that has finally launched a truly global effort to end it with major contributions from the United States, the United Kingdom, and now private donors and others. Uh, I will say that amount has now reached over $110 million in a global public-private partnership, uh, something that I think this committee and our country uh, should be very proud of. All of the senators, senators on this committee have helped to lead this work, and we are hopeful that what we have done will make a big difference in the lives of so many people who suffer in bondage throughout the world. As I turn the gavel over to my successor here in the next few weeks, I only ask that you all continue to carry on this fight with us and those who are appearing before us today on this committee. And I know John is very committed to this effort and has been involved personally for many, many years in the same effort. Our time this morning will be short. We have another commitment at 11 o'clock. I know that Senator Menendez and I uh, both want to be there before it begins uh, for many reasons. And so we probably will cut this hearing a little bit short to make sure that occurs. We have two distinguished panels. We welcome first Ambassador John Richmond, who was just sworn in by Secretary Pompeo as the new ambassador at large to monitor and combat trafficking in persons. Uh, again, we thank you for your commitment to this effort for a lifetime and what you're bringing to this office. We're thankful uh, for the important role you will play in continuing U.S. leadership to eliminate, eliminate slavery wherever it is occurring around the world. Our second panel, uh, we're pleased to welcome Natalie Grant uh, and Shauna Beta Blaw. As one of our state's most talented singer-songwriters, Natalie needs no introduction except to say that as part of her personal calling, she has been a tireless leader in the battle against modern slavery. Shauna equally has been a powerful voice for workers' rights and in the movement to end all forms of modern slavery, especially forced labor. Welcome back, Shauna. With that, I ask Senator Menendez, my friend, if he wishes to offer any opening comments.